If you saw the video I did the other day, the review of Tailwind UI, you might be wondering why I am bothering to do a review, well, a video even, about Daisy UI. And that's a good question. And the answer is, I didn't even know Daisy UI existed at the time when I did that video. Or I maybe found out about it just before when I was doing a bit of research. Um, but basically, Daisy UI is a component library for Tailwind CSS, as you can see here. Um, and it is free to use, unlike Tailwind UI, which is not free to use. So the reason, the main reason I'm uh, doing this video is because I want to be doing a lot more tutorials um, using Tailwind. Not necessarily Tailwind tutorials, but you know, I just want the just want the websites that we make to look half decent, rather than just looking like a piece of crap. Um, so I want to have a component library, so I don't have to actually use my brain to design anything because that's just not happening. Um, so yeah, in this video, we're just gonna have a quick look at Daisy UI, get it set up, um, just whack some components on and see how it looks. Um, so yeah, first things first, uh, I've made a, a new Nuxt free project and you can use any framework you want that it's compatible with, which is probably loads. I haven't actually had a look through, but I'm pretty sure it will be uh, everything, every, uh, library. But anyway, I've waffled on for, for about three minutes now, so should probably actually have a look at this. So let's have a look. How to use, probably very simple. Uh, okay, you need to know JS and Tailwind. Okay, so I thought we would probably. It would help if I actually went on Tailwind. CSS. So it's like my default reaction uh, to go to, oh, I cannot think and type, uh, go to Tailwind UI. Because I literally I lean on that so hard, it's like such a crutch. Right. Okay. Docs. Framework guides. Next. I do actually have a tutorial on how to do this, but not that you need it. Uh, so let's just fast forward me doing this. Okay. So we are now set up with. Tailwind CSS, so let's have a look at the next step. So you just need to run this command. Let's go back to the root directory of the project. Don't know if that matters, but probably does. Let that do its thing. Now we need to add Daisy UI to our Tailwind config plugins. Save that. I guess we're good to go. Oh, okay. So they've got these example repositories. I don't really like starting from these sort of points. I haven't actually looked at this, so it's probably really good, but I'd much rather just install it myself. I know everything's where it needs to be that way. Okay, so I think we're set up and ready to go. Um, nothing should be different here, but let's have a quick look. Um, let's have a, have a look at the some of these components and I'll tell you what so this is saying how to use it so instead of doing that you can do that okay so let's see what happens if we just copy and paste that onto here okay it's working that's very good okay so Let's just do a, a sample home page. Um, what's all this about? Uh, we'll look at that another time. Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, here we go. So this is all, let's just have a little search for hero. Let's make a little home page. Okay, this is quite simple and nice. Pretty good. What else have we got? Okay, what I will say is this it does look really good. Um and bear in mind this is completely free to use, so I'm not criticizing it because this is way better than anything I've ever created. But just from a first glance, it um looks a lot more basic than the Tailwind UI component components. But bear in mind, like I said, this is completely free to use and Tailwind UI costs like 
I don't know how much it costs, like £200 or £300. So, yeah, I'm not going to criticise it at all because it looks really good uh, and it's free. Um, okay, so my setup, I've, I'm have i using, uh, I've made a components folder, so I'm going to go into there and I'm going to create a hero component. And then hang about. Okay, and then you've got HTML and JSX. Do you know what? I've never used JSX. That's something to do with React, isn't it? I think. Uh, I really sound like I know what I'm talking about, don't I? But um, I don't don't use React. I use Vue JS. Uh, I I've tried React once or twice. Uh, just had a little play around with it. I just don't really like it. I don't. I don't like the way it looks. Even though it's obviously very popular and very good, but just not for me. Um, I'm sure if I gave it a chance, then I could get on with it. But I can't really be bothered. You know, like there's so many different things that you could learn if you wanted to. Um, but just a lot of time, you just think, what's the point? Um, it's like they all do the same thing. Um, so yeah, I didn't. So I've made that hero component, and now we need to just let's just get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, and just add the hero in here. Okay, cool. Um, oh, okay, there's no image. Uh, I can't bother to put one in, but you get the point. There's meant to be one there. Okay, so let's see. Got hero. What else have we got? Maybe do a nav bar. Ah. I wonder if that actually works. Let's just do that and see what happens. So I think I did read also that you don't need JavaScript for these components. Um, so I don't know how that works exactly. Now bar. Oh my gosh. Let's rename that because I can't type. Okay, let's try it again. The other thing that's a bit different to Tailwind UI is, and this is so minor, but look, you know on, on Tailwind UI you have these, they have it for Vue, React, and plain HTML. No, is it React? Yeah, I think so. And then they've only got HTML and this JSX here. Uh, but do you know what? That's probably because it's just not necessary. The only difference, I think, is I just have to type template tags. Uh, and I, do you know what? I, just, I need to stop moaning about that because it's really... This is free. Like, how good is this? And it's completely free. So I'm just going to shut up because it's really good. I've never made anything as good as this in my life, so... I'm not going to start moaning about it. Um, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look. Do I have to do something here? So that's link. So I wonder where. I do some more links. How oh, if you can make it responsive? Do I have to do something in particular? Okay, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Bear in mind, I haven't actually read the documentation, so probably should. Um, what I did notice though, when I had a little look through, look, they've got such cool components um, it's just it, it's just nice and clean isn't it it's just it's just nice and there are like you can do things like this have a phone mock-up that's good I like that like yeah look at that that is nice um, so you get the point um, I'll figure out the thing the stuff about like the nav bar and whatever and Getting that to work. Probably, you, know, you probably just have to actually type a bit of code and just 
link it up, make it view friendly, um, which isn't a big deal. Um, so you, you, you basically have more freedom, I'm guessing. But don't quote me on that because I should probably read it before I actually do a video on it, which is a bit stupid, really, isn't it? I should have actually uh, looked into it. But you know what? I'm going to be using this going forward uh, for a lot of videos, so I will get to know it. And I'll, I maybe I'll redo this video and actually give it a better kind of a better review. Not that this is a review, but give it a better. I don't even know what I'm saying. Just give it a better chance to kind of show how good it is. Um, maybe if I go and use it, might actually give me some more information. Customizing. Oh, I'll tell you what I did see what was quite good. You can do like, theming. So you can basically select all the colors that you want and you can have, so you can have primary buttons, secondary and all that, and you can set them, um, which is really nice. Um, so that's maybe something that we'll do down the line. Um, oh, here we go, theme generator. Yeah, so look, you can change these colors, pick a color. Uh, look over here, these will change to give you a preview of how it look, which is nice, really nice. And look, yeah, it does all of it, obviously, because it's a class. That's, that's uh, pretty good as well. Anyway, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this video at this point in time. Um, but if you look here, there's just so many components, carousels, um, like Tailwind UI does not have that. Uh, again, maybe I need to do, I'm not sure how you get that working. You probably have to actually do something because I did see this. They have some that are working with buttons. Uh, yeah, look, that works as it is. So it's probably me. I'm probably missing something. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, so yeah, it's very, like what I will say is very simple to get set up. Um, looks nice, nice and clean. I just need to know how to actually get it working with view. So get things like the the mobile menu. I'm guessing I just have to do that myself. Um, but if anyone's watching this and actually um, uses Daisy UI and knows how to use it and isn't a complete moron like me, that'd be good if you could. Uh, just leave a comment uh, and for everyone else as well leave a comment below just let me know um, but yeah looks good and get ready to be seeing a lot more of this because I'm going to be using it for all tutorial videos um, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time